This is actually the third year that we're running this exercise. It's, uh, it's probably the biggest medical rescue training exercise that we do um, in the country. And um, essentially what happens is that it's about students um, that are doing medical rescue work and it's how we prepare those students for the type of calls they might encounter. Um, so, you know, in a normal situation, you don't every day find a boat in distress or you don't find an explosion on a daily basis. So it's important then that we simulate these type of things as closely as we can. And then we test the students and we test the equipment and the systems. So this year's event has been a really great event. We've had um, many role players participating, including the South African National Defence Force. We've had uh, four universities. And um, I think the event is a showcase for the University of Johannesburg as well as the role players. What's nice about this event is it also allows all the instructors from different parts of the country to come together and we can talk about our techniques, we can share the latest updates on how things are done and all in all it's a, it's a wonderful collaboration of medical rescuers. From an academic perspective, um, it's been fantastic to work with um, the uh, lecturers and the tutors from um, the University of Johannesburg, um, from the institutions in Durban, in Cape Town, um, and also from the Free State as well. Um, the exchange of ideas, we've been able to see that we have many things in common, um, but equally uh, many things that we can learn from each other. Um, and also we can work together to, br to bring the paramedic profession forward as a whole. This, this assists us as government in understanding exactly the situations that our operations are getting into when they go into the field of, of operations, firstly. Secondly, it, it also assists us to understand the type of resources that we can give to these to this operatives so that they can be able to, to execute their functions without them being resource restrained. So, uh, it, it really assists us in a way and it also assists us to proper plan should any disaster come, what is it that we need to have, what is it that we need to do, who to contact, who to talk to and how do we then begin to communicate with everybody else. It also assists us to inform the universities on the type of skills that we need when they are developing their curricula. Working with new students from all over the place has been really interesting, you know, because you get different views of everything and how they are taught is different from us, and so it's a very good eye opener, you know. In this kind of exercise, you get to do everything practically, and um, some of these exercises. You, you only know how to do them when you get there. Uh, even though we've been lectured about, we've done the theory on it, but some of them are so pra are such, uh, in such a way that they're so practical that even the theory doesn't cover everything. So uh, it really feels good to be able to get out here and, uh, and do everything practically. And there's such a variety of exercises that we're doing that we, we're covering everything that we've done in lectures and, uh, and even learning new things. Okay. Thank you, sir. We did notify me as soon as they will, but. I need a I'd probably say um, the, 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 the skills that I've learnt that you probably wouldn't have gotten a lecture in more through a textbook that I've learnt best in a practical manner would be, once again, utilising the uh, breathing apparatus in the confined space again, because you can't fully appreciate how difficult communicating with a breathing apparatus is and how hard it is in terms of breathing, sweating and how much air you use until you do it personally because it's a personal thing as opposed to something that a textbook is which is more of a general thing I would find. And now quite responsive, opening his eyes on, on requests.
Okay, so, so far I've learnt a lot more, especially from my teammates about rescue, especially because I'm part of the rescue team. Uh, medical as well, especially like trying to get people, for example, the quarry scenario, it was very awkward, it was, an, it was an awkward angle for us to access the patient from and stuff like that. So it was, um, it was a good experience for us to practically do it, it's different from lectures and class. So from the Edge Hill University perspective, we're moving from a higher national diploma to a degree. Um, our degree would be three years long um, and it would focus on uh, medical care for a patient, um, but it's also more specifically tailored to the needs of patients within the UK. So there is a greater emphasis on chronic conditions um, and longer term care. In, in, the, in the UJ course, we focus on medical rescue as one of the major subjects within the bachelor degree. So the four-year bachelor's degree includes 12 different medical rescue modules. And in this exercise, we will expose the students to um, the majority of the modules in the form of a simulation. I think what the students get out of this is invaluable. Um, you know, the feedback we have had from the students is they, they actually felt as if they were almost doing a real rescue. And there's great attention paid by the instructors to detail. So I think that it's a very rich learning experience you would not get in a classroom. There are some significant differences between a paramedic in the UK and a paramedic in South Africa. Um, the paramedic in the UK wouldn't be trained in rescue, um, they would only be trained from a medical perspective. Um, in terms of environment, South Africa is very different from Manchester where we come from. Um, and so the preparation that's needed and the resources um, and the resilience um, and the ability to work in uh, remote locations is different. Um, in Manchester we're very lucky to have lots of resources um, and I think we've learnt a lot from the paramedics in South Africa um, about to how to manage situations um, and how to safely extricate a patient uh, from a, a remote environment. The training's unlike any type of course that, uh, that I feel you could be put on. It is intense. We do trust the lecturers, both in England and the lecturers that you have in South Africa, to make sure that we are ready. Um, it doesn't mean um, after doing the course we've done, we'd be able to drive like Colin McRae or play the guitar like Eric Clapton. We, we, we don't feel that would be what happens when you finish the course. But we do know that we've been given the skills that we can then build upon over the years to make us as good as uh, the lectures that we've been taught by. I must say, uh, during our lectures uh, with the heli, that was, it's a different experience when you're actually practically doing it because um, like when we were being hoisted now, it was, the, with the wind and all of that, it was quite something you can't learn in lectures, yeah. I think if you interviewed uh, any of the seven students that came to this exercise, they would all, all tell you what a fantastic opportunity it's been um, and they're very, very pleased and we hope one day the University of Johannesburg students can uh, come across to the UK and participate with us in the next size there. Thank you. The experience I've gained from this exercise is, um, I cannot compare it to anything that I've ever uh, done before. It's very different. Uh, we have in students from Edge Hill University um, in Manchester, England. 
and then our colleagues from the University of Johannesburg and, and it's been fantastic. I love working with everyone. Um, I've, I have a great team and um, there's great teamwork, there's great cohesion and we, all, we have aircrafts at our disposal, we have boats, we have everything. And um, I can say that some of us, this will, might be the first and the last time we have the opportunity to ride on helis. And so yeah, and I just, um, I'm excited and I'm happy to be here. Brief account, it's been crazy, it's been intense, it's been hard, mentally challenging in a lot of different ways being taken out of your comfort zone on a hourly basis. Um, it's been more regimented than in England. And, uh, and yeah, it's been one heck of an experience if you can hold on quick enough. <laughs> this, an event like this is a great event for not just the UJ, but for every single stakeholder that participates because it's a, it's a case where Everyone gets to come out on an annual basis and they share with each other and they learn from each other. So medical rescue is overall better off for doing exercises like this.